Hey guys, so welcome back. Today's video is going to be me showing you how I made my Santa Claus mailbox. I was not about to go spending a lot of money on this thing, so I decided to make one out of my own, and I actually love the way it came out. So the bottom part that's going to be our base, I got that piece from Michael's, and as you can tell, we're just going to use some wood glue and a hot glue gun to keep it in place. And I used the glue gun for the sake of the video, just so I don't have to let it dry overnight. I got the little mailbox from Target, like three bucks, and these wooden sticks that they look like, they're actually rolling pins, and I got them from the Dollar Tree. So in total, I probably spent like 10, $12 on this thing in total, and I love the way it came out and it was so cute because these the little mailbox came with these cards and you can write like naughty or nice and all that stuff on them and have the kids put them inside afterwards so it was fun as you can see I take the rolling pin and I put it at the bottom of the mailbox and I just trace it just so I can know where the hole is gonna go you don't have to worry about this part when you like create the hole because you're not even going to be able to tell afterwards. I use this box cutter just to cut the hole out and I'm going to push everything in. So as you can see, super cute. So putting some wood glue and then we're gonna put the hot glue gun. And we're just gonna stick it. And don't worry, we are not gonna leave it like this. So we are gonna be painting this red with acrylic paint. gonna take a paper towel and clean up the mess that is seeking through or leaking through I mean here is a paint I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this bad boy with this sponge brush You could do a few coats if you like, just so you can make sure that it's like super duper red. So today's little clip is going to be on me drawing out a little square thingy. I put everybody's name like this in my little Christmas baggie. And we are going to be drawing out the lucky winner. So I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who entered. And don't worry, I'll be having more giveaways because I end up seeing that I have a pile of makeup that I can give away and stuff. So yeah, so let's get on to the drawing. So we're going to be going to the drawing. Got one. And the lucky winner is. Oh shoot, I almost ripped it. Um <laughs> Charlene 1025. Mika Bunny 1025. Oh, did I put it right? It's gonna focus. So I'll be writing to you on Instagram saying congratulations. You win. So, here's all the other ones. So, thank you to everybody who entered. And I hope no. you enjoy, enjoy today's video. Bye! Mommy! What? Show her up. Yeah, I gotta pick it up now. <laughs> so, we're just gonna get back to painting and just do a few coats just so you can have it super duper red and make sure you let it dry until it's completely dry so you don't get red on your fingers. So this is what I did. I put the 
little mailbox on top of the last pool already and I made sure I still had the little slits from the boxes and I just glued all of that I put a chunk of glue so it looks ugly on the inside but you cannot see nothing on the outside and the bottom has a very clean cut it looks very nicely done so we are almost done with this we just need to make sure that it's completely dried I'm so sorry for the background um, completely dried because we are gonna wrap wrap it either with garland or with some nice ribbon to go around it and we're gonna put it on a bowl to top it off and it will be completely done okay so i'm just gonna use these this pack of garland pieces that i got from the dollar tree as well and i'm just gonna tie um two of them together and i'm gonna wrap them around the pole going all the way up or i think it was like three of them i had to put four and then i took one off because it was too too long and in the end i do not show it i just completely forgot but I also wound up getting some little lights from the Dollar Tree as well and I just wrapped it around with the garland and you will see in the end how it looks it came out like super duper cute and it was only like 12 bucks to make I wrap it around the part where I glued it together just so you won't see that part but it's not going to make a difference after you can't really tell at all. And you're just going to want to glue it at the top just so the garland does not fall down or roll down in any way. And you just put it right on top of that glue and it will stay. This is the bow that we're going to be putting on. I did not know how high I wanted it, but I just stuck it on there. And I'm telling you, in the end, it looks super cute. It does not even look like I made it. I am just so in love with it. And I think it came out amazing. Tell me what you guys think down below. Just glue that bad boy and put it right on there. So I just wanna say thank you so much for watching guys and please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and this is the finished look.